Monday morning and time to get our update on the Downtown Clinton Alliance. And joining me studio is Lou. And uh, Lou, looks like you're all prepared there. You've got some notes. So what's happening in Downtown Clinton? I do. There's actually quite a few things that I can mention um, today. So I'll start out with a couple of sales. Peaceful River Creations is having a t-shirt sale right now. And then Doodads is having a summer blowout sale. And then this Friday, I'm actually celebrating nine years. Well, congratulations. So thank you. So it's our anniversary sale that will start on Friday, and then it actually goes until the end of the month. So nine years. And again, if you could tell us, how did this get started for you? Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Our building had come up empty, and um, I was no longer... I used to do interior design in the Quad Cities. And so we're trying to come up with a solution to use for the building, and and i kind of told my husband what i wanted to do and he said no and i did it anyway <laughs> so i use it works yeah yeah and now he says he he was supportive from the start <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go so has it, has it been everything you expected or a little bit more um it's been everything i expected you know opening a business is never easy um and until you've done it you really don't know what you have to do um to do it you get advice and um, you know, you talk to organizations, and uh, but I love it. So to me, it's more of a hobby, and it's fun, and uh, absolutely love being there. And my daughter's there with me, you know, just about every single day, and she loves it. And uh, so much fun, because everyone that comes into the store wants to be there. It's not like when I was going to college, I worked for a pharmacy the customers don't necessarily want to be there because they don't feel well they have to be there my store they want to be there so everyone's happy go lucky uh happy to see me uh and happy to look through the merchandise you've been very active in downtown clinton since opening your doors when other businesses are thinking about opening do they come to you do you seek them out give them a little advice how does that work um i have had people over the years uh come for, to me for advice, not only in Clinton, I've uh, made some wonderful friends in other small towns that have seen what I've doing, and then they've asked me advice and opened very successful businesses, actually businesses that are doing better than mine, and they've started with my advice. Uh, there's another business opening in the downtown um, called Primitive Hollow. Her name is Kelly, and she's actually talked to me a little bit about advice and um, gosh, she's been so gracious uh, with me, just saying how she's watched me over the years and appreciated what, what I've done, which makes me very humble to think that uh, someone that's been watching me is now opening a store that I think will do fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit about a Primitive Hollow. What are they going to primarily feature? Well, Primitive Hollow is kind of a spinoff of the Old Crow. Okay. So she worked a lot with Rhonda in the downtown, and she was going to take over that space. That has now changed, and she's going in right next door to the Corner Deli. So I think recently it was a phone store, uh, but she, Primitive Hollow is going in there. And she had stuff in the Old Crow. So you go into the Old Crow and you'd see these really cool primitive bunnies or bears and just mm -hmm. some really neat stuff. And it was usually Kelly's that I would pick up. And it's like, oh, yeah, I can see Kelly made that. Um, she repurposes things. Uh, and it's fantastic craftsmanship. And everything I believe that she's doing, she'll have other people in there with her. Everything's going to be American made. Okay, visiting with Lou on the Downtown Clinton Alliance, do you see more businesses like that coming to Downtown Clinton, Lou? You know, I really do because everyone wants to see something redone or remade. Um, everyone's kind of in that primitive mode. People like to repurpose and rebuy. So with me being a consignment door that kind of falls right in line with what Kelly does you know because many people come to me they redo something and then whether they have their own store or their own marketplace online they'll remake it and resell it well that's great and yet you have like Zirkle Boz an appliance business in downtown Clinton the painted rooster they mm -hmm. offer a wide variety of clothing as well Bogles of course has been downtown oh, forever and uh, clothing absolutely. as well and now ladies clothing also so what else coming up in downtown clinton 
Um, well, we had, okay, so we had the new store, and then we do have, they just announced that we're going to do another wine walk September 6th. It's a Thursday night. Um, what were the hours? 4 to 7 p.m. So as more stores get involved, I'll let you know in the next mm -hmm. few weeks because this event will come up really fast. I know we did it last time, and we had, what did I determine, like 150 people in two mm -hmm. hours wow. come through the store. So, um you know, it's a good event to get down, walk ar around downtown and see what's there. So on a Thursday, September 6th, usually not a lot going on a Thursday night. So this will be a good opportunity for people to walk around downtown. Yeah, it'll be a good jump start to your weekend to get you go, get you going, get you excited. And so. I know um, you may not know a whole lot, but the, the downtown is going to be a big part of the half marathon now for the YWCA. I know they've got a, a packet pickup celebration. Yeah. There'll be fireworks, <laughs> music. And, of course, the race will start and end in downtown Clinton. Absolutely. So the night before that, they're having the pack up, packet pickup. That was a Saturday night, I believe. Right. And downtown in the 200 block, there's going to be fireworks, a band, um, and the opportunity to pick up your T-shirts and your numbers and, and things of that nature. Things to do. That'll be a little bit different. I've had the opportunity. I always get to read the names of the runners as they finish the half marathon. It's kind of neat. They, they cross this pad and their name comes up on a computer screen and then i let the people know who's finishing the event right now so that's always a lot of fun yeah the technology that they've come up over yeah. the years i remember when that started it was like the first year everyone was like wow that's really yeah. cool that all of a sudden you can say their name and give them credit yeah in fact they can actually even track where the leader is at you know and the other runners thing let me know well the leader is now past the 10 mile mark and only has three more miles to go. So that's a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, it's really quite amazing, isn't yeah. it? So a lot of happening in downtown Clinton. If people would like to find out more, how can they best do that, Lou? Well, they can go to our Facebook page, which is Clinton, Iowa, downtown, or they could give me a call, of course, at my store, 242-3356. Or Karen, of course, she runs everything for, she has the answers to everything, or she can find the answers for everything for you. And her number is 563 three two one two one six five and of course we'll be visiting with you every monday at this time to keep people abreast on what's happening in downtown clinton absolutely so hey and again congratulations the ninth anniversary sale kicks off friday you say yes um this friday it will start i usually try and start it on the weekend it'll go until the end of the month okay i think most people know where you're at but what is the address for deja vu 101 fifth avenue south on the corner of fifth avenue south and first street so i'm the very last building before you would go up on the dike or to look at the the waterfall all right very good lou thank you so much thank you gary